Hello guys, it's Odis Almira here and this is the third episode of the Ibejuleki series. In this video, I'm going to be answering a question that I got on YouTube and the question says, what can you say about those plots of lands in Ibejuleki that are sold for as low as 600,000 naira but don't have excision? Most persons claim that the excision is in process, but in my opinion, it can be rejected. What's your take on this issue? Yeah, so to answer that question, first of all, if you want to buy a plot of land or a parcel of land that, and you are told that the land is undergoing excision, or when you ask for the title, you are told that um, um, it is excision in process, first of all, you want to confirm if the land is truly undergoing excision. In my um, video yesterday, I said for you to, um, what you need to do is confirm if the land is not committed. So confirm if the land is truly undergoing excision, how do you do that? First of all, you, 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 you get a survey plan, you know, and then confirm if the land is actually not committed. Then you ask for the excision file number, which you take to the land registry to confirm if truly the land is, uh, is undergoing excision or if the excision has been applied for. Now, the truth is, nobody really knows who is going to get excision and who is not going to get excision. You see, the best thing is for you to be able to be on the safe side. And to be on the safe side, you have to first of all get a parcel of land that is under general acquisition. The person of that is under general acquisition. For you to understand what um, general acquisition means, I wrote an article about um, two years ago. I'll put the link in the um, comments uh, in the description section below so that you, you can go read um, about that. So, if the land is under general acquisition, then there is a chance, that there's a very high chance that um, the land will um, be granted excision. But then, the truth is, nobody knows which land will get excision and which will not get excision because of the peculiarities of um, our society. But what companies do is they apply for excision. Let's say they apply for excision of over a hundred hectares of land or a community applies for the excision of, of over a hundred hectares of land. What the government will do is if um, you apply for hundred hectares, they might say, okay, what we are going to give you is 40 hectares of land. Okay. So, out of 100 hectares that you applied for, you get 40 hectares of land, you know. Those, that, that land is excised and is granted um, 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 to the community. Now, what, what most companies do, because they understand that anytime they apply for excision, um, they, don't ev they won't ever get the um, complete excision. Say they apply for 100 hectares, they won't get the excision for 100 hectares. What they do is, they apply the first time, they get 40 hectares, they might apply again um, using a and another name or, or, or the same name, they say they apply for 100 hectares the first time and they get 40 hectares. They might apply again for another 60 hectares and they might get 20 hectares. This is how they do it until they get the um, until they get the number of um, plots or the land or the land um, um, quantity that they want. So there is a technique to it, you see, because nobody truly knows which land will have excision and which land will not. That is what companies do. But the important thing is for you to be able to protect yourself, you know, when you're buying lands that are, with, that are awaiting excision so that you don't lose your money. The first thing to do for you to protect yourself is to do your due diligence before buying the land in the first place. Because most lands that are said to undergo excision, in some cases, are actually committed. And if you do not do your due diligence and you make a mistake of buying the committed land, then you've lost your money. That's that. There's nothing you can do about it. And another thing to do to protect yourself is to ensure that when you get your contract of sale and your deed of assignment that you are indemnified the seller of the land indemnifies you in your contract of sale indemnity is like is a, a clause that says that in the event of a default in the title in the in fact in the event that something wrong happens with um the the, the land you will be paid your money back so ensure that you are indemnified um i guess this is how to protect yourself and this is what or this is my opinion on this issue um about excision i would recap first of all nobody knows you know who will be granted excision or not you just, you just have to find out if the land you are buying is actually undergoing excision to do that you have to get the excision file number and then confirm it at the land registry you also have to ensure that the land is not committed by doing a survey search on the land second thing is um most um, 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 because no, nobody knows who will get excision. What most companies do is that they apply for the excision 
over and over again. So they apply for 100 hectares and the government gives them 40 hectares. They apply again and they apply again like that, like that, until they get the quantity that they want. So, so to a large extent, you see, um, companies or people or, or developers who know what they are doing would always um, get um, the excision that they applied for. And to protect yourself, ensure that you do your due diligence and then you also ensure that after buying your land in your contract, you are indemnified so that in the event that anything goes wrong, you will not lose your money. All right, guys, I hope that helps um, the person that has a question and I hope that I, that, that I help someone else too. Um, this was episode three of the Betuleki series. Um, I'm going to see you tomorrow, but please do not um, forget to subscribe if you haven't um, subscribed to our YouTube channel already and tap the little bell so that whenever we post new videos, you'll get a notification. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow.